my third tip, cherish your architects. Okay, well, you know I'm an enterprise architect. And I love this quote from uh, um, uh, Iktinos, uh, the famous Greek architect that helped build the Parthenon in, in, in the Acropolis in Athens in prior to the birth of Jesus Christ. They said, what the heck is an enterprise architect? And I tried to answer this question. So for business, um, too often business sees uh, the enterprise architect as a firefighter. Okay, so a, we're in this big situation and we need, we need someone to take ownership of, of that and they, they call EAs, Enterprise Architect as Firefighter. When, when, when we ask the question to developers, they usually see the Enterprise Architect as a bunch of arrogant people, you know, a bit slightly disconnected from reality sometimes and uh, living pretty high on the ivory, in the ivory tower. For other architects, Enterprise Architect has often this kind of superhero, this guy you want to become, but he's also have all the time to go to the gym, which, as you can see, is not really the case. Um, and I'm not a superhero. I, I don't have I don't have any cape. Um, so so that's also not really completely accurate. For for leadership, um, I like to say that we are often a shield uh, when things get a little bit sour. It's not my fault. It's the enterprise architect. And, and when you look at um, EAs themselves. Um, they're just a bunch of whiners. And, and you know, if you've seen Les Mis, uh, originally Miserable from uh, Victor Hugo, uh, you, you can think as EAs as, as Cosette. Uh, it's a, an orphan, you know, physically abused by a foster family. So that's, that's a lot of the case. And, and, but finally, what, what, do we really, what do we really are, what enterprise architects really are, are planners anticipators and blockbusters. So I made up some words here, but let me, let me, let me explain. We are as a glue between the business and the technology departments, okay? So we really make sure that these two entities connect and manage to be connect, to stay connected. Um, we, we plan with the business based on multiple roadmaps. So it's not because there's one business imperative that we are going to follow this business imperative. We're looking at the entire spectrum of business initiatives. And the uh, roadmap can come from other divisions or other IT groups, okay? We've got to, to look at all that and make sure that we, we're making the right decision and document the right decision. We anticipate issues um, because the issues are slowing us down. And, and I like to, to say that we bust roadblocks, and it's the term of blockbusters. Uh, so because, because we've got to spot them and make sure that when the team on the roadmap is hitting them, they're not there anymore. Thank you for watching this show today. My name is Jean-Georges Perrin. I often go by JGP. I build innovative data platforms at PayPal. I am the president and co-founder of AIUG, the Artificial Intelligence Data Analytics Users Group. I am also one of the few uh, lifetime IBM champions. I wrote the highly rated second edition of Apache Spark in Action published by Manning Publication. Please follow me on Twitter and YouTube at JG Perry. You can also read more about my opinions, my experiences, and all the things my editors didn't want to put in the book or my articles in my blog at jgp.ai. Thank you. Bye for now.